Now, I've got a question for you, right? I'm a blues guitarist mostly, and blues guitarists, they don't play heavy, scary, pointy guitars, right? <laughs> Okay, so blues guitarists can indeed play scary pointy guitars, but on the whole, we don't tend to see that with a lot of blues guitarists. And so, actually, the aesthetic of a guitar can be quite um, important to a lot of people as to as to how they want to use. A lot of blues guitarists would prefer to use a more of a traditional feel of look, looking guitar. So this is part of the reason why. I perhaps have never really looked at Chapman guitars until more recently when one was loaned to me. And this is because of something that Rob Chapman has said about his guitars. So where Chapman kind of knocks on the door of heavy, pointy, scary guitars. So some of you will know that I've been loaned a guitar by Chapman guitars because I said this to Dan at Chapman guitars about how that their guitars in my mind were more for the heavy rockers, the shredders, the chuggers. And he said, well, no, of course not. Anyone who plays guitar can play a Chapman guitar in whatever style they want. And he's absolutely right. So in this video, I'm just going to share some clips of me playing the Chapman ML1X guitar. Um, I'm writing a longer review and you can read that. But in uh, long story short, my um, sort of conclusion with my review is that this guitar is a guitar that is is very much as Rob has described it in the past, a Swiss army knife of tones. Um, the, the tones that you get out of um, an ML1X, it's, it's like a Strat on steroids um, and it's great. Um, there's a whole bunch of different other aesthetics, um, the upside down headstock and, and maybe the, the, the slightly more streamlined body that would maybe put it more in the genre of a, a more of a heavy, rock style of um, guitar but the reality is it's distinctive and it sounds great and i want to share some tones with you now mm -hmm. 